of this investment that we have made and the results we have achieved so far. Yeah, but Dr. Sheikh, is there a correlation here? We were reading through and we saw Kenya's fertility rate has declined. And also, there's a result of women now who had seven children in 1989 now are opting to have 3.4 children per woman in 2022. First of all, it is 3.4 children. <laughs> and it, isn't it supposed to be either four, five, three? Yeah. <coughs> so, How do you explain that 3.4? So, three, so generally, this is, is, is a ratio, is a, or is a rate, where we use and we calculate, you know, the, the, the total children a woman will have in her lifetime if she lives, you know, fully up to her reproductive age, that is from 15 years to 49 years and above. So Kenya, we moved, this fertility rate has dropped from seven in the 1980s to now 3.4. In fact, the fertility replacement rate, what we call the replacement rate globally, is 2.1. So 3.4 is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a very good figure. Our target was factor three, it was 3.5. Uh, you know, we used the, our targets of the population policy. The, the population policy that we set in 2012, was, our target was uh, uh, 3.5. So a rate of 3.5 really is a great achievement. But this one is, you know, looking at our population growth. If you look at our population growth in the 1970s, it was around 3.4% yeah. per annum. Per annum. But right now we're talking with this reduced uh, fertility rate, a population growth of 2.1%. And you know, this is in tandem with, uh, to see how we can have a population growth that is in tandem with our economic growth. So this is not something that should worry Kenya, that our population will still continue to grow in the near future for the next 50, 100 years. So this is a, is a very good performance for yeah. our country. And globally, generally, there is a trend that there is a, there is a reduction or a decline in terms of fertility uh, rate. Yeah. And this is something to do with, you know, issues to do with the socioeconomic factors, issues to do with education, issues to do with access to reproductive health, and many other factors. That so it's not entirely a medical issue where fertility rate <coughs> is going down because of lifestyle or something like that? No, no, it's not, it's not only that. It's just, it's, you know, also they looks at, it's more of, 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 of the changing world lifestyle. Yeah. That where women are, you know, getting, you know, or getting um, children in later in the light, later stage of their life, where education also plays a role. That because of women empowerment and many other things. So generally, three point four fertility rate is a, is a good performance for okay. this nation. So the population will not go down. There's will not go down. Concern, That's when right? I can assure you, our population, because of our population base, yeah. we have a very youthful population as a country, okay. and uh, our population will grow for the next fifty years. Okay. Yes. And Obudu, let's talk about another issue here, housing characteristics and the proportion of households with electricity increased mm -hmm. from 37% in 